Hello everyone. In this session of uh, chemistry of proteins and amino acids, we'll be discussing about the properties of proteins and classification of proteins and their functions and biological important peptides. Right. So to begin with the properties of proteins. Okay. Solubility and uh, molecular weight, shape. Okay. So uh, apart from this, other factors. Okay, which are contributing. To the property uh, function uh, properties of the proteins right so when you take uh, the term solubility okay most of the proteins are soluble in nature okay and when they mix up with the water they form colloidal solutions okay and this colloidal solution formation okay is because of their huge size okay because of the huge size and molecular weight when you're talking about molecular weight of proteins different proteins have different molecular weights okay and this molecular weight varies based on the number of amino acids or the number of polypeptides in the particular protein okay and most of the proteins are polypeptides which are composed of 40 to 4000 amino acids and with a molecular weight ranging from 4000 to 4 lakh 40000 daltons okay and talking about shape so there is also wide uh, difference uh, in protein shape okay few proteins uh, exhibit globular shape and few proteins exhibit oval shape and a few are fibrous in nature okay and few are elongated okay for globular uh, proteins you can give example insulin and for oval proteins you can give like, albumin and fibrous uh, protein you can give fibrinogen okay like this examples you can uh, give under shape the proteins which differ in the shape okay and next property of the protein isoelectric ph the same point we have already uh, studied under the properties of uh, amino acids right the definition isoelectric ph the ph at which particular amino acid exists as a zwitterion okay so as you all aware all the proteins are made up of amino acids so the, this uh, property as equal to as of amino acid to the proteins and the electrically neutral okay that zwitter ion or dipolar ion electrically neutral with the minimum solubility that means if you are bringing any protein to particular ph where uh, that um, those amino acids can exist as a zwitter ion okay they will get precipitated okay if you adjust the ph okay at particular ph particular amino acid okay which is a part of protein okay exists as zwitter ion and it doesn't have any uh, charge okay and they have least solubility and get precipitated this way you can precipitate the protein by making use of isoelectric ph the best example what i can give for that curd okay curd is coming from milk okay so milk there is a protein casein right so what to what happens there is a presence of bacteria lactobacillus so what they do so overnight if you keep the milk this lactobacillus produces okay so uh, acids okay and which is causing acidic environment so at acidic environment okay this casein get precipitated which in turns we are calling as curd now precipitation of proteins uh, to talk about proteins which are existing in colloidal uh, existing colloidal solution due to hydration of polar groups that means the polar the soluble groups i mean which are facing outside okay they will be hydrated okay so these hydration allows them to get precipitated and proteins can be precipitated by dehydration that means if you take out the water molecule from the particular protein they they don't have any solubility in nature and they start getting precipitated okay and isoelectric precipitation uh, exactly uh, just few minutes back what we have discussed okay by making use of like uh, this principle uh, con uh, converting uh, milk into curd with the help of lactobacillus right Casein, which is a flocculant participant of flocculant, part, uh, precipitates at the pH 4.6 uh, and uh, re dissolves in highly acidic or alkaline solutions. When the milk is curdled, the casein forms the white curd because lactic acid produced by the lactobacillus present in the milk and which is bringing uh, the isoelectric uh, point of casein. Now, precipitation by salting out, okay, precipitation by salting out. So when a neutral salt such as ammonia sulfate, okay, ammonium sulfate when you have added to a protein, okay, or sodium sulfate. So what happens? So actually, uh, proteins they do form 
shell of hydration okay that means they create a aqueous layer around them so as proteins mixed with the water they form colloidal solution okay in this colloidal solution they form aqueous layer around them right so though they are soluble the protein is not that uh, precipitated right so to make that particular protein to precipitate we have to break this aqueous layer like shell of hydration so whatever the salt here we are adding ammonium sulfate or sodium sulfate which is going to break this shell of hydration and uh, precipitating the protein okay and higher the molecular weight okay the required amount of salt will be lesser okay and lower the molecular weight of the protein higher the amount of salt we require for this uh, precipitation okay globulins are precipitated by half saturation and whereas albumin precipitated by full saturation because albumin is having a uh, Globulin uh, is having high molecular weight and less uh, hence they require less salt albumin is a low molecular protein Okay, so it requires more amount of salt. So precipitation by organic solvents organic solvents such as alcohol Okay, organic solvents such as alcohols which are good in precipitation. Okay, which are good in precipitation of proteins Okay, they what they do the principle behind is the dehydration they remove the water molecule from the protein and they make them to precipitate the same way shell of hydration right same way alcohols also removes the shell of hydration okay and precipitation by salts of heavy metals like uh, lead okay lead mercury iron zinc okay and cadmium which are also causing precipitation of proteins and these metals being positively charged okay what it means these metals being positively charged when they add to the protein solution okay the proteins uh, soli in the solution they are uh, actually to say negative in charge okay so when this both positive and negative charging collide okay thus making the precipitation of protein precipitation by anionic or alkaloid reagents proteins can be precipitated by trichloroacetic acid sulfur salicylic acid phosphotungstic acid perchloric acid and tannic acid phosphomolybdic acid okay and all, addition of all these uh, acids okay there are proteins which are existing okay as cations and precipitated by the anionic form of acids